InDesign CS5 Layers panel has been completely redone to match and make it seem more like the Illustrator Layers panel. First evidence of that is if you take a look at the Layers panel, you'll see each layer now has a disclosure triangle to the left of its name, which means you can turn the twisty down or turn the arrow down to actually see the objects within that particular layer. That lets you do a bunch of things to individual objects that you've never been able to do before. Specifically, you can turn on the visibility or turn off the visibility of individual items. It used to be that you could do it at the layer level only. So here I've turned off the eye or visibility for the entire graphics layer. But if I go back to individual objects here, they each have their own eye as well. So if I click off the eye for this rectangle, you'll see I can hide and show that at each individual level. So it gives you a little bit more control in trying out different versions of a document and so forth. If you want to lock individual page items, you can now do that as well. So if I click the text frame here called energy use and take a look at that in the layers panel, there's a lock column and I can go ahead and lock that item. If I'm not in the preview mode, I'll go ahead and exit preview mode by pressing the letter W. You'll see any locked item in the layout view here shows you a little lock icon on the actual item itself. You can actually mouse over that lock icon and click on it directly to unlock it. So you don't necessarily have to go back to the layers panel to unlock that item before you can unlock it. A couple other nice things are objects are automatically named for you. So if you draw a rectangle, the name of the object is rectangle. If you draw a circle, it's circle and so forth. You can of course give any item a custom name. If you just click and pause and click again on the name in the layers panel, you can go ahead and name it uh, anything you want. So I'll call it uh, orange, whatever and that now becomes a custom name for that particular object. One last kind of nice thing to show off, there's lots to the layers panel, but in the short time I have here, if we take a look at these three circles here, you can see that two of them are in a group and one of them is outside the group. I wanna add this gray circle. I'm gonna go ahead and select this rectangle and just delete it to get it out of the way. If I select this gray circle, I can see that it's not part of the group that the other circles are in. That legend group in the name of the layers panel here is that group of circles. I can turn that on and off to show you that. Normally, if I wanted to add something to an existing group, I'd have to ungroup those items first, select the additional items, and then regroup. With InDesign CS5, you can now turn the group down to see the items in the group, and then you can simply drag in and out of an existing group without having to change or ungroup those items first. So lots of different things you can do with the layers panel that you couldn't do before to make it more similar to using the layers panel in Illustrator.